Hi to you all from Bowie Ratback Chapel. I'm Chappy Peter. And I'm Chappy Chris. Today we are taking you somewhere different and joining with a young couple in their recent adventure this week for a change of scenery and pace. And it sounds exciting, Chappy Chris. So we invite you all to come along to the Noosa Everglades, which are part of the Noosa River system on the Queensland Sunshine Coast about 90 minutes drive north of our capital city, Brisbane. The Everglades are described as a 60 kilometre long majestic waterway meandering the coastal areas of southeast Queensland from the massive sand dunes in the north to its mouth near Noosa Heads. These Everglades form in the northern upstream end of this river system in the Great Sandy National Park and are well known for their pristine and natural condition. Throughout the Everglades, the Noosa River changes in width from just a few metres to about 70 metres and crosses two lakes, Fig Tree Lake and Lake Como. The area is extremely peaceful as it is sheltered from the wind by the forest along the water's edge. Locals name the Everglades the River of Mirrors because the water is stained from the tannin leached from the surrounding tea trees, making the surface appear dark shiny and reflective, so the locals have aptly named this watercourse. It's very inviting, almost sublime. Ah yes, peace. It can be very elusive, Chappy Chris. It is certainly desired by all reasonable and sensible folks. Sadly, it doesn't last too long in our broken and fallen world. Neville Chamberlain, Prime Minister of Britain, thought he had it in 1938, only to discover the agreement between Britain and Germany was seemingly not worth the paper it was written on. And Poland was subsequently invaded in 1939, starting the pathway to World War II. Is there a secret to peace? How does one discover it? If it exists, can one ever really find peace? Is there a peace beyond what this world experiences? Beyond the peace found here in these Everglades? There has to be, and there is. Sure is, Chris. I like the way one writer describes it. Quote, God has not only gone public with this secret, but he invites us and longs for us to know it. He does not want us to merely know about this secret, not to merely hear about it, explain it, enjoy the idea of it, or wish for it, but to know it by experience. So what is the secret which is not a secret? Webster's Dictionary, by the way, defines peace as, and I quote, a state, not an attitude but a condition of one's heart, of stillness and serenity, of freedom from disquieting, agitating, anxious thoughts, and a condition of harmony in relationships. That harmony in relationships begins with being reconciled to our Lord, who is only a prayer away. And when our relationship with God, our Creator, is restored, we make peace again with Him, and we can know His peace. Jesus said, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is the gift the world cannot give. Wow, a gift. Sounds like our search is ended, and we don't have to work for it, or be good enough to receive it. True, it's a gift to be accepted, that's for sure. Another reading goes like this. Don't worry about anything. Pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. I like that. Tell God whatever you need. I need you, Lord, the God of peace, to restore my broken relationship with you and be at peace. We trust you have enjoyed the journey with us today as much as we have. The video footage certainly makes one desire to visit the Everglades, doesn't it? Certainly does. And as we pursue our quest for inner peace, our desire grows until we simply must reach out to God and say a prayer like this. Lord, I realise I need your peace. Nothing in this world is going to satisfy me long term or be anything like the peace you offer. 
I want to affirm my need for you to have a restored relationship with you, to be at peace with you, and to experience your peace in the ups and downs of life. Amen. Well, that's all today. Bless you heaps. Stay tuned for On a Lighter Note. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.